Hey, what's up, guys? It's Dom Quixote for FXRay.com. Welcome to a special quick tip. Well, Adobe just released the Photoshop CC 2014.2 version, and one filter or one effect immediately caught my attention. It is the flame filter. Let me use our Lady of the Flies image, which you can download from our website. And under filter, render filter, you find three new filters you can use. And one of them is the flame filter. The picture frame and the tree filter, uh, those were scripts you could find under, uh, under the fill dialog. In the script dialog, you could find them here. Now they are standalone filters which is much easier to, uh, to handle. So if you want to use the flame filter, you need a path. So let me create a new layer and select the pen tool. And now I'm going to create a couple of paths. Maybe one here, another one here. And another one here very rough. Uh, I don't want to spend too much time on that. And now you can go to filter render flame. Well for now the preview is limited to 3000 pixels uh, but that's okay. I'm fine if I just see part of it. And here you find a couple of flame types which you can also save and load as presets. So let's start with the one flame along path version and you can define the width and a couple of other parameters. Um, I want to make them a little bit smaller for, for the first version. And you can also define the shape. I'm going to stick with parallel for now. You can define the color of the flames and the quality. Um, I'm going to set this to very slow to really get the best result and skip the render time. Well okay so that took about a minute maybe a little bit longer so let me deselect the path and let's let's have a look. So okay I wouldn't use this in normal blend mode I would probably go to screen or something which looks way better and okay this doesn't look very natural but but here it looks pretty cool. So what I probably want to do now is I want to create another rendering with different settings. Let's see. And probably combine a couple of, of different methods. So that's definitely worth to try, to try and to experiment with the parameters. Um, as I said, you can also switch the color to something bluish, for instance, or, or green. So I think it's, it's also a good idea to create some mystical energy or flames with it. But for now, let's stay with the flames. And let's have another render on that one. Well, okay, here it is. Um, Wow, that's, uh, that's a lot more than I expected, actually. Uh, let's switch this one to screen as well. But it looks like an almost like an explosion, so definitely a pretty cool effect, and it's for free in, in the new Photoshop. Um, so I definitely am going to spend a little bit more time to understand all the parameters and try to experiment with it. So pretty cool new feature for me. Um, maybe I'm going to do a tutorial if there's a chance, if there's a nice picture that I can add it. But hey guys, uh, take a look at this filter, pretty cool. My name is Tom Kishat, take care.